very good evening to all of you welcome to another youtube live session with me surjeet kakar and today we are on uh, lesson number 8 which is uh, free protection right so in lesson 5 we talked about how we can use options to protect our uh, positions wherein it was giving us an insured exit uh, but today we will be talking about because in that lesson we understood that yes if we are buying that protection we'll have to pay for it but today we'll understand how can we have that protection which can be uh, very cheap for us or maybe at times as good as free right so that is what we'll be understanding today how can we uh, you know use that protection against uh, uh, you know if if the stock goes against us and how can we have that guaranteed exit and that to not by not spending a lot of money from our pocket at times it can be as good as even free so before we move ahead let's get done with the formalities so make sure you people go through the disclosure which talks about the representation the risk disclosure risk and all in the market and also about the copyrights so we are like i said on lesson number 8 now if you have not gone through the previous lessons make sure you do that uh, the link to the playlist is available in the description for both english as well as in hindi so make sure you go through all the previous lessons because as we move ahead if you don't have clarity to what we have uh, covered in the previous lessons it can be a little bit challenging or you may feel a little left out so do ensure if you've not watched the previous sessions do watch the previous sessions as well and yes uh, if you are liking these sessions make sure you hit the thumbs up button uh, if you have any questions queries regarding whatever i'm covering you can put it in the comment section if you're liking this you can also share it with your friends on your social media other people who are interested in learning options they can also benefit from it because these Uh, sessions are absolutely free i'll be covering the complete options course absolutely free all right so when it comes to options we were talking about some benefits and we talked about protection so yes in lesson number 5 we did talk about protection by in which uh, we were using options as insurance for which we were buying an out of the money put uh, which was giving us that guaranteed exit because buying a put gives you the right to sell at whatever your strike price was but that was costing us some money so today we'll see how we can uh, have a similar kind of a protection without uh, using money from our pocket right that is what we will be understanding today so yes options can also be used for leverage it can be used for various strategies i have been covering few strategies uh, which are not related to strategies where you using options to make money currently we are talking about some strategies which can be helpful to people who are into long term investment Uh, so like i already talked about in lesson 5 we covered uh, how to use options as insurance in lesson 6 we talked about how to even if you don't have the shares as if now and you're willing to buy it you can even buy it at some discounted price and uh, similarly lesson number 7 we understood if you already have shares with us and uh, while we are waiting for it to go to our target we can rent it you know we can get into a strategy which is as good as renting shares and you can collect that money month after month so yes uh, it can also be used for diversification so today we'll be understanding how we can use options for free protection now this is going to be a combination of what we learned in lesson number 5 which was insurance and lesson number 7 which was renting so when we use the combination of the two together that helps us have free protection or maybe as good as free if not exactly free and uh, yes this is what this session is all about so buying a put provides the right to sell a script at a guaranteed price in case of a disaster that is what we uh, looked into when we did our lesson number 5 where we said that yes whatever our uh, stop loss is right so it would be a good idea to buy a put where the stopping point is right so wherever your stop loss is for that strike price what we do is we buy a put now whenever we are buying a put we'll have to pay some money why because when you're buying options uh, whatever the premium is you have to pay that premium and that is what we saw in lesson number 5 that we would be paying some premium to gain that protection and uh, that was actually giving you a guaranteed exit in case the stock gaps against you you will not be losing more than uh, whatever your uh, your uh, strike price was now you could use the premium collected through selling the call so this is what we talked about in lesson number 7 which was renting uh, stocks so when we talked about renting stocks what we were doing was we were selling out of the money call at our target which was giving us some um, you know which was giving us some money and that money was getting credited into our account so now what we will be doing is that this money which we are getting by selling that call we are using that money to buy the put so basically i'm not using money from my pocket you know somebody is paying me uh, to have that uh, renting effect and whatever money i'm getting from that renting effect i'm using that money to protect my position 
So you would use the premium collected through selling the call to pay for the protective put and end up with a very cheap or at times even as good as free protection. So we'll also look at an example as we move forward. So this uh, is basically called as caller or it is called as caller script. That is the industry name of this strategy. And uh, what is done in this strategy is that you sell the call to collect the premium, right? So the way we did it in renting scripts, we were selling a call which was out of the money call. And by selling that call, we were collecting some premium. And now what we do is that the premium which we have collected, we use that premium to buy a put, right? And buying a put gives you the right to sell, which is basically your protection. And that is what we talked about in our lesson number five. So we use it to uh, buy a put, which gives you the right to sell the script at a guaranteed price for protection. And what are the outcomes? If the script price rises, you will be obliged to get rid of it at the strike price, right? Of the call you sold. So yes, it goes to your target. You uh, close your position. You're done with the trade. And in case it remains flat or in case it falls, you gain protection in case, this, in case the script cannot remain in an uptrend and collapses below the strike price of the put you bought. So in a way, you also have that uh, protection in case it goes below wherever your stop loss was, you will be having a guaranteed exit because you have the right to sell at whatever the strike price you selected. Now let's look at it with an example. So, okay, uh, the action would be while being longer script. So always remember, this is something we are doing when you already are holding some shares with you. It's like I said, you know, these strategies are more for people who are into investment. So when you are holding some shares and let's assume that you know that today or tomorrow we have some news event, maybe we have earnings for that particular company or we have some other key economic events due to which uh, it can gap against me. So because I want to protect my script now, instead of, uh, you know, using my money or putting money from my pocket, we can use this strategy to first collect some money by selling out of the money call. And after collecting that money, we can use that money to buy that protection, which is, like I said, as good as free or maybe a very small amount. So this is what the net position would be. You will be long scripts. Along with that, you will be selling a call. And uh, this, the call which you will be selling is basically a, the call which will have a strike price of your target and you will also be buying a put and that uh, put will be the strike price of, uh, of your stop loss. So let's look at it as an example. So again, you're, you know, talking about free protection, let's imagine I'm long a script and, uh, you know, current market price of that script is 46.95. And let's assume this is the demand area where I went long. So I know that my stop loss should be below 30 to 50, right? So that's my, in fact, you know, it should be below somewhere around 35. So let's assume that, uh, you know, the uh, nearest strike price we have is 30 to 50. So what we want to do is because we are taking that assumption, we have some key, uh, key events, maybe some economic events, or maybe we have some uh, earnings coming out for that company and due to which it can probably crash down. So that is why I want to protect myself uh, by buying a out of the money put, which is 30 to 50. So what is going to happen if I'm just talking about this position, which we talked about in our lesson number five, which was insurance. So when I'm doing this, if the script the next day gaps down, down to 30, you will still be having an exit at 32.50. Why? Because buying a put gives you the right to sell at whatever the strike price was. So it doesn't matter whether it gaps down to 30 or it gaps down to 28 or it gaps down to 26 or it gaps down to 20. No matter where it gaps down or, or it starts going against you, you will still have a guaranteed exit at 32.50 because that is what you have done. You have bought a put uh, to give you a guaranteed exit at 32.50. But now for buying this put, what is happening is I'm paying some money from my pocket. And that is what we saw in our lesson number five, which was insurance. So again, we are still buying that insurance, no changes in that. But now what you're doing, what we are doing is to fund this uh, put, which I'm buying. I'm actually selling a call which is at my target because I'm already holding the stock and what I want is if it goes to my target, yes, I want to exit. So even if I get uh, assigned, I actually wanted to sell my uh, stock at that particular price. So by selling this call, what is going to happen is I'll be collecting some premium. And that is what we talked about in our lesson number seven, where we were looking at how can we uh, rent the stocks which we are holding or stocks which are in our portfolio as of now. So we are doing exactly the same thing. We are using renting and insurance combined together. So in a way, the rent which we are collecting is getting used to buy that protection for you, which basically gives you as good as free protection. 
So now if you look at this as an example, you can see when we shot the call, which is this 6750, uh, the price is around 35 paise. That is what we can see. And uh, by doing this, I guess the, the contract size is uh, 8,000 shares, if I remember it correctly. So what is going to happen is by selling that call, we get 2,800 rupees credited to our account, right? Why? Because we sold a call and by selling options, you collect premium. So by selling that call, we collected 2,800 rupees. And now what we can do is, if you look at this 3250 put, this 3250 put is 40 paise. So if you look at it at 40, 40 paise multiplied by again uh, 8,000 shares, I guess it was. Uh, the price of this, uh, buying this put is 3,200 rupees. So if I was not selling this call, I had to pay complete 3,200 rupees to buy that protection. But now what I'm doing is, for this 3200, I'm also collecting 2800 by selling the call, which is the 6750 call, which is at my target. So again, uh, what this is doing is it is giving you a net result, which is almost like as good as free. Now here you can see you still had to pay 400, but yes, there will be times uh, where, where it might be, uh, you know, as good as free. There might even be times where it can also be, you know, putting some credit in your pocket, right? That can also happen. So here 400 rupees is a debit. Uh, but yes, at times it can also be a small little credit. At times it can be a small little debit. Like here you can see it. At times it can also be uh, zero. So it will depend how the markets are. But this is what is basically a caller or free protection is all about that you sell the call which is at your target and you collect some money and now you use that money to buy a put which is where your stop loss will be so in case it keeps going to your target you were still protected without using money from your pocket but yes in case it starts going down at least you had your protection and that protection will give you a guaranteed exit so that is what a caller or a free protection is all about which is the combination of uh, the insurance and renting combined together doing it while we are holding a script all right, so today's session was a very small session, a quick session, which was about how we can have that free protection when we are holding scripts. And uh, yes, that brings us to the end of today's session. Thank you so much for joining in. I will be seeing you again pretty soon where we will be doing the same lesson in Hindi. And uh, yes, I'll also be doing other sessions as well, like the Sunday session. To, so until we meet next, uh, enjoy your Wednesday evening. Take care. Bye-bye. Uh, see you next time.